Dano. Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and I'm back with more Star Wars The Last Jedi unboxings from the Force Link 3.75, not always 5 POA line of toys. Guys, this is a Toys R Us exclusive. This is Poe's Boosted X-Wing Fighter. Just take a look at that thing. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Normally, normally I try to compare to older things or other iterations of a toy. I don't have the other one. I don't have the one from Force Awakens. I did hear a lot of bad reviews that the uh, little wing parts were a little wonky and bent. So, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that this is not the same story interrupted by a Force Link every single time. But, fingers crossed that this is not the same case. I'm really, really hoping that they've stepped up their quality assurance and made sure we don't have wonky pieces. I have had some troubles with the vehicles in this line so far. And today, I really don't want any. I want it to go smoothly and nicely. But before we get into the unboxing, let's take a look at the outside of the box. All right, I'd like to start off with the Star Wars logo right there. Then we pan over. We got Poe. We got Rey. We got Finn. And we got some cool Kyber crystals cutting across the top. Let's see here. Where are the Force Link to activate sounds? Now, is it only sounds or is it lights? I believe it is only sounds. But take a look at that artwork. I see a Super Star Destroyer in the background. I see First Order TIE Fighters and other X-Wings. There's the orange and black Poe specific one. What do we got here? We got Poe Dameron Resistance Pilot. Now I wonder if this Resistance Pilot says things differently than the other Resistance Pilot. That I can compare. Let's take a look at the side of the box. We've got Poe and his cool helmet looking just like Poe does. All right, cool. What do we got on the back? We've got, actually, before we get to the back, let's look at the side real quick. More about the Force Link. Top just says Star Wars. Bottom, bunch of mumbo jumbo. All right, now let's get onto the back now that we've looked at least. To give Ace Pilot Poe Dameron an edge in combat, resistance engineers have fitted a boosted accelerator pod onto the tail of his, of his T 70X wing. This gives him the extra speed he needs to outrun and outmaneuver the First Order. So that's why he's such a darn good pilot. He has a special X wing. It says the wings open. It's a good thing. Fires a projectile. Not a nerf dart for all of you people who did not like the nerf stuff in Rogue One toys or Force Awakens toys. They've gotten rid of the nerf. Uh, it says Pose Boosted X-Wing Fighter. There's Poe Dameron Resistance Pilot. A little ad for the Force Link. StarWars.com. Oh, look. Zero to three. Sad babies. Approve of this toy. Just don't try and put it up your nose. Look, there's a BB-8. Okay, here's a question. Do you guys think this is going to make BB-8 noises? Because now that I've seen that, I do think we'll hear at least one BB-8 noise. I hope. I really hope. Okay, now I'm going to open it up on the action figure side. And as I open this up, got to mention, Amazon links. Like always, I like to mention Amazon links. I'll even plug my shirt shop. I got a shirt shop called shop.spreadshirt.com where I got a couple Star Wars related designs. Uh, mostly older Disney type stuff. Ooh. And also all the Amazon links that I like to plug because they help me support the channel and pay for the stuff on this channel and it's free to you guys doesn't cost you anything all you got to do is well maybe it costs you a second or two of your time but if you do any amazon shopping you start off on one of my links i will find a link to this toy or something very similar or just the force link toys in general and i will place it in the comments below or in the description the hard part is this one is a toys r us exclusive so i'm probably not going to find this exact one right off the bat on amazon but I'm sure it will show up eventually on Amazon because darn near everything does. That's why Amazon's Amazon. But if you buy anything through those links, they are sponsored links. That means I get paid a couple pennies. So if you spend a hundred bucks, I might get a buck or two or three or four or five. It really varies depending on what it is you buy. But even if you sign up for Amazon Prime through there, I get a couple bucks just because I referred you. Audible books. You know the audio books, the Audible? There's a lot of good Star Wars ones coming out. And if you don't have time to read, Audible is actually, I personally do use Audible because I don't have the patience or time to sit and read. But if I work on stuff or while I'm editing, sometimes I'll put on an audiobook. I, there's a lot of cool Star Wars ones coming out and you get two free if you use the trial through Audible. So I'm going to put that in the description box as well in case any of you want to do a free trial of Audible. It's there for you. And again, I make a couple bucks off the referral. So I've done my duty. I've referred you people. If you want it, it's there for you. If you don't want it, no worries. All I ask is that you do me a favor. When you're watching this video, I'm breaking stuff. Okay, this is going to be hard. But as you're watching this video, towards the end of the video, 
I'm going to ask you guys. I'm going to rip the card. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to ask you guys to do me a favor and rate the toy. Not me. Not the quality of my unboxing skills. But the toy. I want you guys to rate the toy. I think I got it. I think. Okay, I did it. I did it. There it is. I want you guys to rate the video with a thumbs up or even a thumbs down if you don't like the toy. If you think maybe the toy stinks, okay, already. These little pointer things that go on the end of the wings, I don't know the technical terms, sorry. They have this little separator divider inside the box to keep them from getting all messed up. Hasbro's learning. That's a good thing, that's a great thing. I like seeing little touches like that so they can ensure that you get a better quality product. Now hopefully, I don't know what this all does. I guess I'll find out in a minute. There are instructions, thankfully. I I haven't even put it together. And I'm telling you, this is cool. So here's the, the deets. That's what you need to know about this toy. It is a Toys R Us exclusive, like I said. A little rubbery tip there so you can like, I don't know what that's about. Whatever. Uh, it is a Toys R Us exclusive. No Nerf guns cost me 50 bucks. Steep. That's steep. That's as much as the uh, Kylo Ren TIE Silencer. This one does not light up, apparently, but it does make noises, and it is a Toys R Us exclusive. I am really hoping that that figure right there, this Poe Dameron, does make cool, exclusive Force Link sounds. I know the, the ship for sure will. There are tiny stickers, so that means I'm going to have to take a break, put some stickers in the cockpit here, Okay, that doesn't bend super far back. That's kind of scary. Um, but okay, okay, I'll be careful. I do have to thumb through these instructions. Maybe, does it tell me where to put the stickers? I really hope it does because I sometimes need a little bit of direction. Which means, kids, if you buy this or you ask for this on your Christmas list, you're gonna need mom or dad's help putting it together Christmas morning or on your birthday or even if you're just a good kid and got good grades or something. Just heads up, you're not going to be able to take it out of the box right away and play with it if you want the cool little detailed stickers on there. All right, guys, I'm going to take a quick break. I will be back in just a minute. All right, guys, I've got everything set up. I'm ready to show you guys a little close-up. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to compare this new Poe Dameron Resistance Pilot to the old figure. Not old, but the last Jedi figure that came by itself, the Force Link figure we did in another video. We're going to compare the two together just to see if there's any differences in sculpt or anything like that. All right, on the left here, I have the figure that's just a standalone figure that I previously reviewed, just part of The Last Jedi. It's the, uh, was it 7 POA because his wrists move? Remember that? His wrists move, so he's, like, slightly more articulated. And this is the one that comes with Poe's boosted X-Wing here on this side. Uh, I'm noticing a couple of things here. The face sculpt is better on the new one. I like that face sculpt a little bit more. Here, he looks like Paunch from Chips. Uh, so on the bottom, I'm noticing texture on this one, not so much texture over here. The overall sculpt is less detailed on this new one. Let's take a look. Different color of blaster. Slightly less details on the new blaster. And what about these wrists? Do the wrists move? No. Oh, they don't. So this new figure, the one that comes with the $50 X-Wing, is a legit 5 POA. Well, the one that you buy by itself is seven points of articulation because those wrists do rotate. Slightly better sculpt on that. This one's got more of a generic, kind of melty looking sculpt. It's very, very similar. Like, really, really similar. But some of the textures, see, like, look around the pants, like these little ribs and stuff. They're non-existent here. They're not... It's just, it's just kind of funny to see that they would do that. But I do like the head sculpt on this one a little bit better. I might swap their heads. Just rip them off the ball joint and swap them. Uh, let's take a look at the two helmets right up next to each other. I'm seeing basically the same thing. The one on the left okay, goes with the one on the left. The one on the right goes with the one on the right. To me, they look roughly the same. I'm going to set the camera down put them on each one. We can compare how they look like when they're worn. Okay, here are the two figures with the helmets on. I feel like this one's is a bit bulkier and bigger. Just It just looks like it is. I don't know why I think that. Let me know what you think. I am noticing, a, see the little cloudy and kind of not so good paint job on this one? Well, this one's more crisp and clear on the lines. That's another thing to notice. So overall, I think the, the older one is a better figure. 
Um, this one, it's just not as good a figure. It just, it just isn't. All right, guys, now that we've seen what Poe looks like, let's take a look at the X-Wing. I do want to show you some of these features because I they're cool. It's okay, so it does have a little landing gear thing that flips out. On the back, it's just two little stands that are already there. You can't flip them out. But this, this is a cool feature. There is the BB-8 I mentioned before. I don't know if we'll get sounds out of him, but for sure it does this. You push down on BB-8s, and the wings open up, and you can go into, like, attack mode. And then there's a little button right behind him that you push, and the wings close. But the best part is there are magnets built in on the little inside part here. There's little magnets that help keep it closed otherwise. So they're not just like popping open whenever. But if you want, you can pop them open. But by pushing down BB-8, they lock them open. And you can do a lot of cool flying and stuff. And then again, you hit your little button. Boop, and it drops down. I've got a projectile hidden underneath here. There is a little small button next to the force link that I'm just going to... Will that stay up? That'll stay up. Ooh, will this close? That'll close. Okay. So there's a little projectile firing button. I'm going to fire it straight... I'm going to see if it hits the landing gear. That's actually not a bad thing to try out. All right, I'm going to push it. It did hit the landing gear, so you got to make sure your landing gear's up. My missile's way over there. Let me go get it and try that one more time. Okay, I'm back. I've got it locked and loaded again. I'm going to do it one more time just straight up. Maybe I'll catch it. It hit the ceiling. So last time with the A-wing, it barely hit up to like here. The uh, Canto, not Canto Bite, but the uh, whatever the heck it's called. The Ski Speeder. I think it went a little bit higher. This projectile is legit. Okay, though, do remember if you're going to use a projectile, don't have the landing gear out because it will land right into it. I'm going to try and put the figure in here. One thing I am noticing is this cockpit does not open all the way back. So be careful. If you try to bend it too much, you will break it. Uh, I'm not seeing any kind of seat belt or rope or anything in there. There is some stickers, and I'm noticing that they are kind of easy to hit and start to peel off a little bit, so be careful with that. Um, oh, that's a tight squeeze. You gotta like push his arms in, and then he looks kind of funky, but okay. It's cool though, I get it. I'm gonna show you some close ups so you guys can see what the ship looks like. There you go. So there he is in the cockpit. Those are some of the stickers I put on there with a little TIE fighter and the radar. You can kind of see inside the cockpit there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. There's a little BB-8. Notice he's not painted on the actual body, but his head is painted. And there's a look at the wings from the front. There's a rubberized tip there at the front. Like I said before, it does have some squish. See, it's got a little bit of squish. And it did something I had to put on. It was a little accessory it came with. I'm going to close this. Oh, can I close it? What? What is that about? That's kind of a weird thing. I wasn't able to close it over the big old helmet. How about now? What? Okay, this... This could be a problem. This could be a problem. Let me drop the camera. Let me see if I can squeeze him in here. Lean him back maybe a little bit more. I'm not liking that. I'm not liking that at all. If that's going to be how it is, I really got to lean him back. And even then, it's kind of a tight squeeze. You can definitely feel his helmet pushing against the glass or plastic, whatever. So I did get him to fit. He's very, very laid back. And you can see it doesn't quite close all the way. There's a little bit of a gap there, but I did have to lean him all the way back. This does clip in. Overall, pretty cool. I want, to, I want you guys to see the back end of the ship. Take a look at that. There's the big boosted engine right there, the one that they said they added to the back of it to give him that extra oomph when fighting. There's some shot of the wings. Uh, let's open up the wings real quick. I'm going to push BB-8 real quick. You guys can see it. Maybe. Maybe not. Did it not work? Oh, I guess it only works if it there when it's in the air. If you put it down, it does kind of make them go back. But inside there, see those little metal things? There are magnets that help keep this closed. So the second, if I pick this up, and you can see the wings are open. It's going to be real hard to do one-handed. Maybe I'll do it this way. So it's open, and now I'm going to pull that little lever all the way back if possible. If I can reach. There you go, and they close. So, again, hard to do one-handed, but pretty solid effort. I like the way it opens and it pops up. Looks cool. Now it's time to do the Force Link. Let's test that. What do you want to do first? Should we do the figure? I think we should do the figure first. I'm going to take him out after I spent all that time getting him in there. I'm going to take him out now. Should hopefully be fairly simple to take Mr. Dameron out of there. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. All right, Force Link. 
see what you got. What did that say? Hey, one more time. Okay, let's... I changed it to page just because, but I'm going to hear that intro saying again. One more time. You need a pilot. Oh, you need a pilot. Okay. Fox Force Awakens. He tells that to Finn. Give it everything you got. Okay. Stay sharp. Give it everything you got. Stay sharp. Hmm. Give it everything you got. Stay sharp. So I think we've heard the non-combat sound. Give it everything you got. Stay sharp. Give it everything you got. Stay sharp. Give it everything you got. Hmm. Stay sharp. Give it everything you got. I'm hearing a lot of repeats. Stay sharp. Give it everything you got. All teams, I'm going in. All team, that's again Force Awakens. Give it everything you got. Stay sharp. Okay. So for comparison's sake, just a refresher, the new figure you buy on its own of uh, Poe Dameron's Force Pilot. Oh, Poe Dameron. Or Resistance Pilot. We're gonna do this. Again, I it's, try anything. it's more Let's Force it Awakens. Up. Take my lead. Let's light it up. So if you buy the figure by itself, it definitely has more quotes, but they're also both from Force Awakens. Or they're both figures only have quotes from Force Awakens, which is a little, little disappointing. I wanted some new dialogue. I guess we got new dialogue in the uh, Ski Speeder Poe Dameron. All right, guys, I've got my little Force Link strapped on here. Let's take a listen and see what this thing does. Anything? Here we go. You definitely hear it taking off. Some cool whooshy noises. I like it. Pretty cool. Does it do anything different when the wings are out? What if I grab it from the bottom? Anything? Hmm. Nope. You gotta grab it from the top. If you really want to get the sounds going, you gotta grab it from the top. Overall, though, I gotta say, this is a pretty cool ship. I like the way it plays. I like the... It's got a lot going on with it. The details on here are really cool. I don't know that I showed them very well or did them justice in the close-ups, but there's a couple things I want to point out to you real quick before I end the vid. Okay, look, Hasbro did a little bit of weathering for us. Notice there's a little, like, dark patches. Some of the paint isn't, like, perfectly on. And that's on purpose. That is supposed to be that way. It's, like, all crooked. You got a little dirt and grime coming on here. I like that. It's not, like, perfect. It's not, like, fully weathered, which I would like to see. But it's nice to see that they're trying. Look at all the little weathered paint. All the orange little chipped paint that's coming off. And there's little extra layers of dirt and stuff there look even that's got a little dirt going on the front where it should be around the engines there's little extra patches of dirt look at the bottom even the bottom is painted the bottom of the wings are painted so that's a good sign to show that they care i like it i i really like this piece with the engine on it i never really noticed that that was there until this toy there's this weird like strapped engine thing they put on the back of it there's our little projectile again this part's a little more boring but the fact that they put dirt and all these little things in there, that's what kind of takes it to the next level for me. I think this is a quality toy. 50 bucks is steep. It is steep. I'll admit it. But you might... I don't... See, the thing is, I don't know that you'll find this on clearance because it's a Toys R Us exclusive. And your best bet is to go when they have Toys R Us... Or when Toys R Us has a sale on Star Wars toys... Usually around the holiday, maybe around Black Friday or sometime during the holiday shopping season, they will have like a 20, maybe 30. You're pushing it for 30, but probably a 20% off all Star Wars, 25 maybe if you're lucky, or buy one, get one 40. You'll see that happen a lot during the holiday shopping season. So stay tuned for those. Like Watch out, check your local ads and stuff for that, because this is definitely something worth picking up. Oh, I like that the wings kind of flap around separately. That's I, It's kind of weird, but I like it at the same time. So, it's a quality ship. It looks good. I'm happy with it. The figure could be a little bit better. But guys, I want to know what you think. That's what's important to me right now. I want you guys to comment. Let me know, is this something that you want? Is this something that you have? Did you already pick one up? Did you have the same kind of issues I did with the cockpit and the stickers or whatever? Does your figure fit in there okay? Or does he kind of hit the roof? I, I want to know your feedback. That's the only real con I have to it, is that he doesn't fit in that cockpit very well. 
and it also feels like it might break. So <laughs> there's that. I would watch out for that. So otherwise, I like it. I'd say it's a good buy. Projectile worked. It sounds good. Paint job's pretty good for what it is. I want to know what you think. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, you're like, nah, it's garbage. Thumbs down, but let me know down in the comments why. I want to know why you like this or why you don't like it. That way when people come here looking for like shopping suggestions or tips or whatever, they'll know the feedback. They'll know what's good about it, what's bad about it. That's what we're all here for is to build that community. If you haven't already, do yourself a favor. Subscribe to the Dano channel. That way you don't miss a new video. I've got the first order TIE Fighter coming up next. At least as far as Force Link goes. I might throw something in between. But I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing that. So stay tuned. Make sure you don't miss it. And the way to make sure you don't miss it is there's a little bell box thing down there called a notification box. You can be part of what I call the Rogification Squad. A little Star Wars reference. Where you'll get a notification on your phone or your computer or wherever saying, hey, Dano Channel just put out a new video and you'll know what it is. You'll see the thumbnail, all that good stuff. And that way you don't miss a thing. You're here for every video. Guys, you know I appreciate all of you, your comments, your thumbs up, your thumbs down even. I appreciate those. Your time spent hanging out with me playing Star Wars toys. You know I love you. Until next time, may the Force have with you? Question mark. And goodbye forever. <laughs>